Hi everyone and welcome to my channel. Today in this video, we will go through few more practice questions for AZ 900 Microsoft certification. So let's start. Your team is looking for a solution for collecting, analyzing and potentially taking action based on the metric and logging data from your entire Azure and on-premises environment. Okay, so uh, the options are Azure Logs, Azure Advisor, Azure Insights and Azure Monitor. So the answer to this question is Azure Monitor and to read more on this here you can go and read Azure Monitor Overview. Azure Monitor is a comprehensive monitoring solution for collecting, analyzing and responding to monitoring data from your cloud and on-premises environments. You can use Azure Monitor to maximize the availability and performance of your applications and services. It helps you to understand how your applications are performing and allows you to manually and programmatically respond to system events okay so that's what here is asked okay so azure monitor is the right answer second question is you want to deploy a file share that can be accessed from multiple azure virtual machines without setting up a separate file server which azure service can you use to achieve this so here Azure SQL database is a database service and is not suitable for sharing files among multiple virtual machines. And uh, Azure Virtual Network is a networking service and not suitable for file sharing again. And Azure App Service is a platform for hosting web applications and is not suitable for file sharing. So Azure Storage Account is the correct answer as it provides Azure files which can be used to create a file share accessible from multiple virtual machines okay next is azure is a public cloud and has no private cloud offerings true or false this is definitely false uh, here clearly azure states right there's a hybrid cloud and it's a type of cloud computing that combines on premises infrastructure or a private cloud with a public cloud right so yeah it does have private cloud offerings okay then azure advisor provides advice on how to improve the security of your microsoft entra usage okay so microsoft azure advisor okay now what is azure advisor it provides you with a consistent consolidated view of recommendations for all your Azure resources, it integrates with Microsoft Defender for cloud to bring you security recommendations. Okay, so it is different. And uh, if you talk about this improving the security of your Microsoft Entra uses, so you should understand that Microsoft Entra provides user authentication management for on-premises environments such as MS Software and Azure. And this is used by associating it with your Azure subscription. So Microsoft Entra is outside the scope of Azure Advisor as it is a service layered on top of Azure resources. So Azure Advisor is not the correct answer over here. Okay, so it is false. Now, which tool allows you to get a personalized view on the health of the services that you are using? Okay, now talking about Azure Monitor, you can monitor the performance and usage of your resources using Azure Monitor. With Azure Advisor, you get recommendations, but no information about current health situation of a resource, like uh, some planned maintenance. And with Azure Status, you only get a global view that is not personalized about all Azure services in all regions. Okay, so the correct answer is Azure Service Health. And to read more on this, this is a good article. What is Azure Service Health? Okay, and what it is a combination of three separate smaller services again. So do read this article. Okay. Which of the following is something that uh, Azure Cognitive Services API can currently do? Okay, so the options are translate text from one language to another. All of these, as you can do it all, speak text in an extremely realistic way, recognize faces in a picture, 
create text from audio recognize text in an image okay so azure cognitive services api can do everything listed out here okay so the answer would be all of these and uh, go through all the services ai services so here if you come they have available azure ai services and they have listed here the service and the description about that service so once you read this uh, you will come to know that it does have the capability of doing each of these listed items okay. now what is the main management tool used for managing azure resources with a graphical user interface so the answer to this question is azure portal and uh, here you have this article what is the azure portal so azure portal is a web based unified console that lets you create and manage all your azure resources with the azure portal you can manage your azure subscription using a graphical user interface so that is what is asked here okay which of the following is a serverless solution that allows you to write less code maintain less infrastructure and save on costs so the correct answer uh, is azure functions and uh, to read more on this if you come here azure functions is a serverless solution that allows you to write less code maintain less infrastructure and save on costs all right and you have here scenarios also right you can read all this okay understand it in better manner what are azure functions next is it is possible to deploy azure resources through a tablet by using bash in the azure cloud shell okay so let's go here what is azure cloud shell azure cloud shell is an interactive authenticated browser accessible terminal okay please uh, pay attention here browser accessible terminal for managing azure resources it provides the flexibility of choosing the shell experience that best suits the way you work either bash or powershell so yeah we are talking about here bash right so that is mentioned here and it is a browser accessible terminal so yeah you can definitely deploy these through tablet also okay because it's a browser accessible terminal so answer will be Uh, inter region transfer of data is always free of cost so let's come here bandwidth pricing and if you scroll down here this uh, heading is there inter region and they have stated here the cost and the related intra continental data transfer so now we don't see it free right the cost is indicated for different regions right so this is false now what is the primary purpose of microsoft purview in azure so microsoft purview if you come here microsoft purview provides a unified data governance solution to help manage and govern your on premises multi cloud and software as a service data so of these if you see here to manage and govern data across on premises multi cloud and software as a service environment so this will be the answer Suppose the lead architect in your company has asked your team to implement a platform as a service based solution in Azure for a quick proof of concept to senior management one of your colleagues goes ahead and creates an azure logic app and an azure data factory instance is this correct approach so they have asked for platform as a service based solution right for quick poc so if you have a look at this diagram from microsoft site they're talking about azure data factory and azure logic apps both of these are platform as a service only so yeah uh, that is the correct approach we can go ahead with yes you need a database that stores json formatted documents and that can respond in milliseconds this database will be accessed and used simultaneously from multiple regions which database is best for this use case So option one is the correct answer. Azure Cosmos DB is a fully managed NoSQL database service for modern high-speed application development, such as IoT data processing. And Azure Cosmos DB can store JSON documents with guaranteed 
single digit millisecond response times and 99.999% availability okay and option 2 is incorrect azure synapse analytics basically is a fully managed cloud data warehouse this db can obtain query results in a short time for terabyte and petabyte class data and uh, option 3 is again incorrect azure sql database is a fully managed intelligent relational cloud database okay and option 4 is again incorrect azure cache for redis uh it is a fast fully managed in memory data store this is not suitable for storing json documents okay and you can read more on azure cosmos db here database for the ai era okay so they have termed it like that and here it is a fully managed no sql relational and vector database it offers single digit millisecond response times automatic and instant scalability along with guaranteed speed at any scale business continuity is assured with sla backed availability and enterprise grade security okay so do read about this yeah so yeah first one is the answer azure cosmos db deleting a resource group deletes all resources in the resource group yes that is the correct answer and here if you see how order of deletion is determined when you delete a resource group resource manager determines the order to delete resources it uses the following order all the child nested resources are deleted okay so that's the correct answer azure devops service allows you to store development code in git repositories so correct answer is yes and the azure repos feature of azure devops services gives you project a cloud hosted unlimited private git repository a git repository is a place where git is used to record the state of files and directories the saved state of the code is stored as a history of content changes and, and it is a repository format used in many developments and more on azure repos you can read here okay in detail So yeah, yes is the answer. So that's it, guys. Thank you for your time, and we will see you in next video.